Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another live stream here at my YouTube channel. Today is a special live stream because, well, you guys know, if you've been watching, April was supposed to be stencil month, but it seems like everything I'm inspired to do does not involve stencils. <laughs> so we might have to revisit stencil month again, just so we can get more stencil cards in, but I'm not giving up on it. For tonight, I'm going to be doing some special mail art. Um, so this mail art is specifically for my friend Christopher, who, who owns Brutus Monroe. He's the creative genius behind Brutus Monroe. We were on the phone earlier today, and he mentioned something about how he keeps submitting his address for mail art, and he's never picked. And I was like, what? I have never seen your address. So, so we are rectifying that situation tonight. I happen to know that he loves Lego and I hope he doesn't mind. I'm going to put him on blast. He sent me just, he sent me many pictures of his growing Lego collection, but, um, I'm just going to show you a little portion of one of the first photos he ever sent me because he puts together lots of Lego and we have bonded over this. I hope he doesn't mind me putting him on blast. He he has quite the collection. He is quite the connoisseur of Lego. And he actually collects a lot of things. Okay, hold on, let me find one. I'm trying to like zoom in on one because I don't want to like give anything away that he wouldn't want shown. Okay, well, here we go, here's one. He knows that I love all of the flower Lego sets. So he sent me this picture of his flower Lego sets. He's got a little tree over here and got the wild the wild flower bouquet is one of my favorites so anyway tonight's envelope is lego themed and i had to do quite a bit of prep work because there's a lot of little circles on this and it took a while the first thing i did was i measured it and i planned out my card in adobe illustrator this is one of those times when it benefits me that I am a graphic designer. So I have these tools at my fingertips that I can use. And I ended up making myself kind of like a DIY stencil. I tried to cut it out of vellum so it would be a little thinner, but that was a disaster. So it's out of paper, but it's like all the little dots. And then I've left a spot for a street address. But the whole plan is that I'm going to create his initials. Can you guys see that? It might not be very visible yet, but there's a C here and then an A for Christopher Allen. And then the rest of it is all going to be one color of Lego. So, and I also picked out special stamps. I have no clue if Christopher is a fan of these particular mm, characters, I would say, that are on the postage stamps, but they are all vintage. They are all no longer sold. I thought he would appreciate them. Um, Especially because one of them actually has a brand new Lego set out right now. And once we get to the postage stamps, we will talk about that because I really want that set, but I can't justify the cost. So I did a little trial run to make sure that I could make the let this, like these dots look like Lego. And I think I've nailed it. Here we go. I just have to color them like that. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be really fun. Also, my nails tonight, I did a little nail stamping today on them. They've got like a, it's almost like a, like a alcohol ink sort of pattern on it. It's interesting, right? I think if you did the pattern in like a gold, it could look like marble or stone. Anyway, so that was interesting. The particular, um, like the specifics on my nails are listed down below in the video description. All right, let's get going here. So this is a whole lot of coloring tonight. I've taken a piece of cardstock and put it inside the envelope to catch any bleeding from the markers. Okay, so let's get going here. Basically with my colors, I have a light, medium, and a dark for each one. And the medium color is what is going to go around the dots for each segment. So I want this one to be red and I want it to have a really sharp edges because this is going to be one of the individual 
blocks that start to create the letter C. So I'm just going around each area and I'm noticing that this paper really grabs the ink. This is a, a white envelope from Paper Source. So it's not my usual cardstock. Now that I'm thinking about it, if I would have thought ahead, I should have made a DIY envelope and just made it out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White. I think that would have been a smarter move, but that's okay. We'll get this going here. Okay, so you do the medium color right there and then you take the lighter shade and fill in the circles. right okay and then you take the dark shade and I'm gonna add a little shadow that's kind of to the bottom left corner so I'm just gonna add just like that much so it's just gonna add a little shadow I'm gonna take the medium color again and I'm just gonna try to blend that in. And as I get going here, I might start to get more lazy. <laughs> okay, and then taking a white gel pen and I'm adding a highlight in the opposite corner. I guess circles really don't have corners, but we're pretending. You guys know what I mean, right? Okay, so, and then when I color the, the grid around it, the block around it, I'm going to add shadow underneath as well so that it looks like this block is sitting on top of one of those big base blocks. That's the plan. We'll see how long this takes <laughs> because I kind of anticipate it taking a long time tonight. Okay, I'm onto my purples.
thank you all for joining me. This was definitely a labor of love. Christopher, we love you. I'm realizing I want to soften this shadow now. Seriously, I cannot walk away. I mean, I wanted it darker, but I also don't want it so sharp. Now I think I really do have to walk away. All right. Yes, Christopher, we're having a Lego day. I've just got to pick out what Lego I'm going to work on. Um, thanks so much for joining me tonight, y'all. This was a lot of fun. And um, hopefully um, I'll have an actual stencil month card for you <laughs> on Wednesday. All right, y'all. Have a lovely night. I will see you on Wednesday for a regular video. Thanks for joining me.